Good Saturday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you and you uh, had a good night's rest. Um, I will remind you this morning that when you go to bed tonight, set your clocks up. If you go to bed at 8, set them for 9. If you go to bed at 9, set them for 10. If you go to bed at 10, set them for 11. So you won't be late for Sunday school and you get your day started right on Sunday. Um, the book of Matthew. The book of Matthew, chapter 28. This scripture that we read today is known as the Great Commission. It is Jesus telling his disciples and therefore telling us as well to go out and what our occupation should be, what our job should be, what our duty uh, is. This is not a suggestion. Um, this is uh, something that he said to them. You can take it as a commandment. You can take it as a commission. Um, but this is what he wanted his followers to do. Let's see here in chapter 28, and uh, we will read in verse 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. King James Version, I am with you always. Uh, doesn't have an S on it, but uh, lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Well, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. All power is given to Jesus. He makes the rules. He uh, says what to do and what does he say to his disciples. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. So teach them the things that he has taught the disciples. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. So he's just telling them to take what you know. You have been my disciple for three or three and a half years. Now take what I have commanded you and you go teach that to others. And what is that called? Discipleship. What does that look like? Uh, as some would say, if you break that down, if you flesh that out, that is just us following the Savior, following not the commandments following the savior if we are really followers of him not just people who call ourselves christians but we are really followers of him we will do what he said and we will not do what he said don't do we will conduct ourselves in the manner that would become a representative of of Jesus Christ and therefore God on his throne. So, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always. He's always with us. In times of trouble, in times of conflict, in the good times. Do you know, I've heard this uh, in testimony, I've heard it in preaching, I've heard it in song, but do you know that if you uh, live for the Lord and you trust the Lord and you give to him of your best uh, in the good times that it will be so much easier to do that in the bad times because you will have good times and you will have bad times but through all of that trust him in the good times so you can lean on him in the bad times but all the time he is right there with us Matter of fact, if we are a follower of Jesus Christ, born again by his spirit, the scripture says, he said that me and the Father will come and we will make our abode in you. And so you are not alone. There's a song years ago, Jeff and Sherry Easter sang, and there's a line in it that says, you're not alone. So why should you feel lonely? 
when everything else falls apart on you. Praise His name. So you're not alone today. This song, I've never sang it before. I've played it for different people at different times. Uh, but it is in the hymn book, and so let's give it a shot here and see. I'll do it maybe slower, maybe faster than what you've heard it. It'll be my version, and uh, you could do yours, right? When the storms of life are raging, stand by me. When the storms of life are raging, stand by me. When the world is tossing me like a ship upon the sea, thou Stand by me in the midst of tribulation. Stand by me in the midst of tribulation. Stand by me when the host of hell. And my strength begins to fail. Thou who never lost a battle, stand by me. In the midst of faults and failures, stand by me. Stand by me when I do the best I can, and my friends misunderstand. Thou who knows all about me, stand by me in the persecution stand by me in the midst of persecution stand by me when my foes in battle break undertake to stop my way Thou who say, Paul and Silas, stand by me. When I'm growing old and feeble, stand by me. When I'm growing old and feeble, stand by me. When my life becomes a burden and I'm nearing chilly Jordan, O oh, thou lily of the valley, stand by me. He is with us always, the scripture says. Don't forget to set your clocks up. Lord, as we come to you, God, we thank you for all you do for us. We thank you that we're never alone. Sometimes we may have that feeling. But God, we thank you that you are always there. We love you. I pray that you would bless those that are brokenhearted today, those that need to be encouraged and strengthened. God, I pray that you will give them the help they have need of in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. Um, Sunday, if you watch, uh, we'll see you then. If not, we'll see you on Monday morning. We start revival Monday evening at Givens Chapel. Pastor 
um, Jerry Mullins, and so it's out in the Gibbons area, uh, close to Beaver off 32 in Pike County. If you can make it 7 o'clock, we'd love to see you. God bless.